Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to create this sunset look on the eyes with a hint of blue in the waterline, what your favorite part of this look is, and um, let me know what you would like to see next. All right, y'all enjoy. I'm gonna use two primers today. I'm going to use the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. Keep the pore filling part right here. I don't go anywhere farther. It's just the nose area. And then for the rest of the face, I am going to use the Glam Glow. And this is New Glow. I'm going to try the L'Oreal Infallible. Um, I'm just going to use a Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Maybelline Rewind. And then for a little bit of brightening, I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape. Rest of my face, the light dusting of the Cody Airs Fine. This is translucent. I use the Benefit Cup Brow Morphe eyebrow brush and I'm going to spoolie. Tiny Coastal Scents brush. I like to use the MAC Paint Relief Paint Pot. And I do like to set that with shadow. I'm going to grab from the Arika Makeup Basic and I'm going to use Blow. For the look I'm going to do today, we are going to use the James Charles Morphe palette. Start out with um, Punch Me. So I'm taking an Morphe M518 and I pop that into my lid. I'm going to crease. I'm using this Glamour Dolls brush. I think I got this in the MC bag. I'm going to pop into 518. Same palette. To take a smaller brush so I can get a better control of pigment. This is BH Cosmetics. It has a six on it, so maybe not. So now we're gonna dip into Rusted, and I'm going to tap this onto the outer part. just to do a little blending. All right, so I'm gonna go back into the brush that I used for 518, and I'm going to blend out those edges. Now I'm gonna take this Flexi Precision Shader brush, and we are going to tap into your kit. You're very light-handed, you don't wanna to go too crazy too quickly, so very lightly. Go back with rusted a little bit more, and we're just going to do a little blending with that teeny tiny brush. And I always go back with the first color, and I blend everything. I'm 
from Juvia's Place. And we are going to jump into the Zobo and take this brush came from the Naked Cherry Palette. Just going to get on the very, very outer part. See, I'm still leaving a little bit of the You're Kidding out so you can still see it, but it's just transitioning a little bit. And going back into Rustin, so I could pull it up a little bit, we're going to blend again. Blending is key when you're doing multicolors like this. I want to get just a little bit with a little bit of concealer. And we're just going to lighten up that area for that gold. Gold I'm going to use by Mika or Mika Beauty. Um, this is in, uh, it's a shimmer powder, it's carnival. I just put a little bit of glitter glue on the back of my hand, get a little tacky, and then I'm gonna put a little bit on here. Okay, so I'm going to just take a little bit more on my finger. I'm just going to stick my finger right in there. And we're going to place it. But look at that gold. Yes. Now, we need to blend all this back together. A little bit of the you're killing, just a little bit, and I'm going to put on the edges. Yeah. The Jacqueline Hill palette in this color right here, which is B. I'm just going to put on the top right now. I'll take that brush again with 518. I'm gonna go right under the eye. And then we're gonna go into Rustin. We're pretty much just using the same colors we used on top, but to add to the bottom. I think I'm just gonna add the Zobo color from the Juvia. And I'm just gonna use this end to place it. And I'm going to use the clean side of this. Now I'm going to blend it. Boreal, the super slim. And I'm going to do a small wing liner. I'm going to use the contour kit, light to medium by Anastasia. And I do contour first because when I go back for bronzer, it can blend it out a little bit more with the fluffy brush. And I do contour. Take this brush that I got from um, Rubia Lashes and do a slight contour on my nose. Okay, for bronzer, I'm just going to use Wet n Wild. And I'm using this BC bronzing brush. See, I feel like it blends it better. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. But we're also going to use pearlescent pink. I'm not going to go too. I think that would be enough. Because the eyes are still the important part. For highlight, I am going to do two things. Um, I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution Drops. I'm just going to lightly dot 
giving a base for my highlight. Then I am going to use this oldie, but I want to use the champagne pop in it. So I'm just going to take this dropper and back my hand again. Get a little bit. to pull my highlight back. I'm going to pop some lashes on and I'll be right back. I'm gonna take the Fully Charged Pure Mascara. I'm going to stick with the lashes a little bit better, the falsies. I've done everything to my face that I want to do. I am going to go ahead and use this clear mascara for my brows. If I do this after everything, sometimes the bronzer and stuff will lighten the brows just a little bit. I'm going to use a mixture of the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Times Square in NYX lingerie in lip Link. Okay, so first I need to line my lips. Okay, even when I line my lips, I use a mixture. I use that in the outer corner of my lip. nude beige and I'm going to film the rest of my lip. And I'm going to take the rose. I don't know why I do this, but I do it anyway. And I fill in the center of my lip. And then I'm going to take ColourPop. I'm going to take the NYX. Kind of want to add a little bit of blue to my waterline. a little bit of this. Not a lot. Yep, yeah, it works. All right, so this is the final look. Um, I do like the pop of blue. Um, added a little bit of rose gold to the lips, which made it just fine. I like the pop. Um, it all ties the gold together. So um, let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all later.